In June's releases for LEGO Star Wars, LEGO have already announced two Mandalorian Season 3 sets. And that's on top of the ones we got quite a while back now. I think they've pretty much covered all of the bases. But that's not to say there aren't a few sets that LEGO could have made that fit perfectly in this line. And as far as microfighters go, really anything is possible. I would have loved to have seen the updated Bo-Katan minifigure in a Bose Gauntlet microfighter, just because I'm not too keen on the spider tank. It's a very repetitive build, but that's enough of that. A mech that they could have done is one for IG-12. IG-12 themselves are just a human size, slightly bigger than human size mech for Grogu to pilot. So this would have been the perfect chance. Lego love putting Mando and Grogu in sets. And this would have gone great with the other two sets that they released as well. Because we'd have an IG-12, another character to go along with them. And pretty much the only non-Mandalorian named character we haven't got. So I have built IG-12 here, both in mech form and minifigure scout to fit inside of the mech. But we'll get to look at that in just a second. If you do end up enjoying this video, be sure to drop a like. And of course, please do subscribe. Thank you so much to everyone who has. We have hit 1.5k now and at 100k subs. It seems like far away, but it's going to come a lot sooner than you think. We will be building a mini figure size Star Destroyer. So you don't want to miss out. Now, first up, I'm sure you want to know how it compares to the height of a regular mech. This is a modded mech but sticks to the height of the vader mech if anything it's a plate or two just shorter and you can see ig12 or ig11 i guess if you take out krogu is a lot taller and that holds up to the minifigure proportions as well it's not quite the same because ig does seem to have a really long neck is that a neck or is that the bottom half of the head perhaps ig has no neck and that is just straight head on torso but it's definitely a bit taller than the average star wars character so i've kept that with the mech i tried to build the shoulders up to the height of a regular mech and then i added so many details to the shoulders that they ended up being a bit taller anyway but i really like how i've done the head we'll get to that in just a second because i've also had to switch up how i do the arms and legs ig is definitely a lot more robotic than even the B2 battle droid arms and legs you can see that Vader has used here. That's a cool mech based on the comics and you have to check that out in its own video. But IG does have a bunch of Technic pieces for the arms and legs fitting because Technic is a more robotic Lego than Lego. Lego tends to stick to system plates, bricks and very squared off things. Technic allows me to get a different angle on it and even combine some other Lego elements like at the elbow joints and at the hands as well as the knees, the feet. Most of it is still Lego. I know not a load of people are fans of Technic, but I really like the combination of the two for this model. You can see IG can stand up straight. There is a little posability. It's a bit like the old Lego Technic models. You can move the arms and legs, but if you move the legs at all, chances are it will topple over. So it's more for when you're playing, you can have IG just fly kicking another mech but for the most part to stand it up the legs have to be straight the arms can be positioned and you can position the arms forward all the way back perhaps IG12 is running to or running away from something and as I mentioned there is an IG a modded IG11 which let's face it that's all IG12 is they don't really need their own character when they've got an IG-11 and there's an interesting thing about the legs actually I do want to talk about that in a minute but you can get Grogu and IG-11 or IG-12 out of the torso you have to position the arms back a little bit and it's really cool how perhaps if I lay it down it'd be easier one-handed how I've got them in there because the whole torso cage it's like the rib cage just opens up and then Grogu on IG-12 emerges from inside which i think is really really cool once again i've just used the lego figure for ig11 flip the torso around i'm actually going to do a short on how you can build ig12 so definitely check that out because i like the way grogu just sits in there and grogu is actually studded in so you can flip this upside down have it in a few different action poses and grogu's going absolutely nowhere so that's really really fun we'll take a look at Grogu again in a second and 
I'm not sure if I ever showed you how to do Grogu's pod, so I might make a short on that as well. But now you can see IG-12 is empty inside without Grogu, but still looks really, really cool. The detail on the head is just made using a six length bar that goes straight through the middle of all these pieces. You can see it just flattening on the top with the stud with the hole in the middle. There we go. And then we've got a few white studs to represent the glowing little LED sort of eyes. And then we've got some of these sticking out of the head. Again, I'm not really sure what they were going for with this droid. I'm not sure if they're the eyes or they're the eyes. Perhaps these are some sort of sensors. It's really nice that we do actually get the holes in the ends of these. And then I've used a roller skate piece, which represents the roller skate piece on IG. It really does look like the roller skate piece. You can actually see on the IG-11 minifigure on the head, if I can get it to focus, that even LEGO's official printing looks like that piece. So I had to use it there. Of course, IG-11 has the red eyes, so it's quite easy to switch it up. You just have to make the whole thing dark gray and switch the white to red. But IG-12 does have the white, so I guess there's an inconsistency with the minifigure I made. But I've tried to include as much color as we can. The Azulans, the Babu Frick species do add a bit of colour to IG-12 when he's made. And I think that is just to make him appear more friendly than the dark grey droid that we see in IG-11, IG-88. So I've added the dark brown on the shoulders. A few light grey pieces here and there, though most of them are hidden. I've also added these black studs with the bar element on the underside to create the elbows because it's a similar pattern we see in the show. And then we've got the lower white for the arms, the crotch area, and also the upper legs, which does come out because there is some armor plates around it. Again, very hard. Unless we're going full Technic with this model, it'll be very hard to get it exactly accurate to the show. But I think I've done a nice job, and I really like the shoulder blades here. I've mimicked it front and back, and there's minimal detail on the back, but I have closed it up with a 2x3 and 2x4 plate. And then we can see the bar and clip joints that not only hold the rib cage in, that's what I'm going to call it now. This is the rib cage and that's got a few details, but also hold these top elements, which are these clip elements with a smaller pin, which all clip to the plate at the bottom. And they're sort of the straps that are holding Grogu in in the show. Now the rib cage is smoothed off nicely because Grogu does pop out of IG-11's torso on the Little IG-11, I'm going to refer to that as IG-11 and this as IG-12. So Grogu does pop out of IG-11's torso and that is filling that gap there and also allows Grogu to be a lot closer to the front than if we sat him right at the back. And then there's the space for the full height of IG-11, which is seven bricks tall, seven bricks wide tall, if you understand what I mean. There's seven bricks, but because it's laying on its side, it's wide rather than tall and that is just a two by three and two by four panel so i can fit them right to the back and then there's slopes coming in at the bottom and various clip joints holding these lightsabers to represent the bars that we see around the bottom of ig12 i think the azulians did a great job hopefully i'm pronouncing that correctly i don't want to insult any if they are watching this video but there are some massive droid arms also acting as the clips for the hands now the hands do open you can hold bigger blasters if you'd like i tried to get a stud connector in there and there weren't really any way of doing it but the hands are fully functional i don't have anything to hand for them to hold perhaps we can clip in this ig unit and it can hold another minifigure. We've seen that in mechs before. I think the Thanos big fig also has a similar feature and Hulk. IG-12 is now holding IG-11 and the legs pretty simple if I'm honest. I tried a few things and for stability's sake there's an axle running through these Technic joiners and these 2x2 round bricks just to widen the leg towards the kneecap and the feet are really really cool. A few slope elements and then we do have another clip here which acts as Whatever cables are out in front is very similar to the feet of an astromech. And I'm not quite sure if that was done on purpose or that was just a coincidental reuse of materials. But I really do like it for not just the IG, but a few other droids have had that similar treatment. Now the head does spin quite easily because it's just on a bar 
connected to this 2x2 jumper, which again, held in by the shoulder elements, they slowly grew as I continued designing this mech. But I really like the way it looks. It is a 360 head, though, on the back there's not really much too interesting, I don't think. I think the front of it definitely looks a lot better. It's the same reason LEGO probably haven't printed anything on the back of IHE's head, because all the design has gone into the front, and I really, really do like how it turned out. So once again, if we can flip the arms out of the way to insert Grogu or to free him from the giant IG-12 mech, we're just slotting him into this rib cage section of the mech, and you can see I've used the metallic silver chromey looking legs for the IG unit, IG-12, IG-11, IG-88, every single set of dark grey droid legs I've had have either cracked, come loose, and currently I've got IG-11 and IG-88, well IG-11's there, but they were in my display and the legs are very, very loose, barely support them. I'm not sure if that's just something I've done. As I said, I've got a few of these. I think I've had two IG-88s and three IG-11s, or perhaps vice versa, and every single pair of dark grey legs has either cracked. I think I've got two cracked and three loose, or at least one cracked and four loose. So I don't know if it's a problem with the colour, perhaps it's just an older style element. These are from the Droid Assassins, I think. Oh, that's going back. That's over 10 years old, that set, probably 2011, 2012. These legs are fine. Most of my Battle Droid legs are absolutely fine, and I definitely played with them more than the IG series. But we definitely need some sort of fix for that. Again, it might just be my problems. I'll contact Lego and see if it is a problem with the piece or if I can get some replacements for them, but I really like how this mech has turned out, and I think it's really cool that Grogu in his IG-12, in his IG-12, has just swooped up IG-11 and is now taking him off, perhaps to convert him into another mech. It's a bit gruesome when you think about it like that. They've taken... I suppose it depends if you think droids are actual characters. A lot of people don't even consider them minifigures, let alone characters, but I think IG did have some sort of character of himself and he's just been drained and now used as a new buggy for Grogu. So keep an eye out on shorts to see how I built this minifigure and also how to build the Grogu buggy. But that is all for me. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Once again, do drop a like on your way out and subscribe for more awesome Star Wars mocks such as this. And also to see what I pick up in the June 1st wave. Because you know for sure I am picking up that cheap Captain Rex and definitely want to pick up a few other sets. Until then, may the bricks be with you always.